If you're among the 800,000 Hoosiers who don't have health insurance, getting low-cost coverage for your family might seem like an unsolvable puzzle. Luckily, you've already got a partner right here in Indiana. Covering Kids and Families is ready to help you unravel the mystery to make sure your kids get the great health care they deserve. Chances are you're eligible too. CKF has the expertise to help you cut through the red tape to a healthy future for you and your children. Because every child deserves to be healthy. Find out more at CoverYourKids.org. Today on Summer Snapshot. We travel to the rolling hills of Noble Hawk to see how our Lady Night golfers are preparing for their season. And later we check out the East Noble Athletic Field to see what kind of intense training our Knights football team is going through. We're going to be exploring the arena of soccer today. Lunch or breakfast? We're going to have something. That was good. What is a normal day of practice like for girls' ball? Hello everyone, welcome back to Summer Snapshot. As you can see, I'm not starting at the school this week. I'm out here visiting our Lady Knights as they prepare for their golf season. Now even though there's not scheduled mandatory practices for girls golf until August, these girls come out here to prepare and make sure they're at their best when the season gets started. Okay, Casey, what is a normal day of practice like for girls golf? Well, normally we come out to the driving range, hit some balls here, then we go over to the pitching or the chipping range, hit some balls there, and then we do a putting game at the end. Alin, um, I know nothing about golf, so what, what are some basic tips I need to know? Don't get too frustrated and just keep your eye on the ball, head down, and follow through with your swing. Okay, Maddie, what is your projection for your, your team this season? Well, hopefully we can play well and just try to qualify for regionals, but take it step by step. So, Alin, what is with the clips on the hat? Um, the clips on the hat are a ball marker. They are magnetic, and when you're on the putting green, if um, when you're playing with other people, you mark your ball so that they will not hit yours. Okay, so I'm going to give this a try. I've never tried golf before in my life, so Casey, when I'm doing this, how, how can I make sure I, I do this right? Well, just make sure you keep your eye on the ball and swing slowly. Okay. So now you know what our lady golfers are up to this summer. They're going to keep coming out here until their season starts in the fall, and they're going to keep practicing to make sure they can dominate the competition when their important season starts. After leaving the quiet peace of the golf course, I traveled to a practice that was a whole lot different. The Knights football team has been practicing all summer long, and this is what I saw when I dropped in on one of their practices.
These practices can get really intense. Running, throwing, tackling, being tackled. It's all part of a normal day for these guys. All right, uh, Dustin, what is by far the most intense game you've ever been in? Well, my sophomore year, we play, I played JV, and the, so, uh, the JV team played Columbia City here. The night after, we won 17-14 with the last second field goal. All right, uh, Brandon, when you're in those really tough games, how do you stay focused during those? Um, the best way I stay focused is count backwards from 10, and I think about the bigger picture. I mean, if I lose my focus, then a couple other guys on the team are gonna lose their focus, and then that's when the game is all our whack. If you stay calm, you know, just, you know, just, just do what you practice, and you'll be fine in all those close games, games that are haywire and everything, just, just do what you practice. Now normally I would have given this sport a try just to see what it's like. But the coaching staff said it probably wasn't the safest thing in the world for me to do. I think they were right. Another episode has come and gone. I hope you've seen just how hard our night sports teams are working this summer. We've got one more episode left covering these activities, but don't worry. Aaron still has some spotlights in the town to cover. We'll see you next time.